Welcome back to Fat Cloud TV, brought to you by Vapor Cheap. In this episode, I'll be doing a quick review of the Lost Vape Paranoia DNA 250C Project Sub Home Edition and let you know how you can score one. Like I said in the introduction, I'll be taking a quick look at the Lost Vape Paranormal DNA 250C. This is the Project Sub Home Edition. Um, so it has that blue gunmetal type of finish. I'll, I'll, I'll go up close and show you a little bit about it um, in a few. But yeah, so Lost Vape is well a pretty well-known company. They've released plenty of uh, DNA powered devices. The Paranormal is actually um, an updated version. The, the original, I'm pretty sure, had the DNA 250 chip, and this one has the new DNA 250C board, um, which has uh, the new replay feature and a couple other things that are a little bit different than the original. But the Paranormal is definitely one of the most popular devices, I would say, on the market, especially DNA devices that are kind of mass-produced. And um, they just they just work well. They feel well. A lot of them is known for, like, a really good premium quality product. And the same can be said with this Paranormal, especially the Project sub Edition. Edition. Um, like I said, this is one of the newer devices that released. And I'm not going to go too, like, deep into it, um, like, into the chip itself, the Evolve DNA 250C. But I will go cl up close to show you the device itself and let you know what I think about it, what, you know, if there's anything I don't like about it. And then I'll go on and let you guys know how to enter the giveaway. So let's go and dive down quick and um, show you the device. Right, so here we are up close with the Paranormal. This is the box that it comes in. Uh, it does say Project Subhome Edition right here. Ra fairly large box. Um, a lot of their products come in really nice boxes like this. Like the presentation on all Lost Fate products are really nice. Um, so you, it comes in this nice case. It has the Paranormal logo here and alongside with the name and inside. When you flip it open, um, you get a card. This card is really cool. Uh, it basically goes over like uh, some features of the DNA 250C, like replay um, and uh, the, the boost um, and whatnot. So this is really cool. Just in case if you're not really familiar with the DNA board, uh, especially the newer DNA 250C, um, it does, you know, it's a nice little uh, kind of like show and tell. So you get your instruction manual here, uh, your warranty card, I'm pretty sure, uh, sure this is it, a registration card. Um, and then in here you have like you know USB cable and whatnot. So nothing, nothing crazy in the box. Just the usual stuff, really. So sorry about that. So here is the actual device. Um, as you can see with the Project Subhome, it does say Project Subhome Edition right here. It has that um, all the all the Project Subhome devices that that come out has kind of like that blue gunmetal type of finish, and it's the same with this uh, Paranormal here. And you have um, this leathery grip. I'm not exactly 100% sure what this is made of, but it's very comfortable when you have it in your hand. You know, it gives it like a cushion. You got a stainless steel 510 up here. Uh, it does have a serial number as well, which is pretty cool. Mine is number 572. And you also have a blue buttons, which is, um, I think, like on the standard paranormals, they're black. And then you have. Um, the up wide up and down is the select button. And you have your screen for the DNA 250C. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that the, the fire button doesn't protrude as much as these buttons down here. It's not like totally flush, like you can feel that it protrudes a little bit. Um, but these are much more um, like protruding than the other one, uh, the fire button that is. And then you have your sliding battery door here, very easy. Like this is not like the Therion, where the Therion was notorious for ripping your batteries. I, I haven't had any issues with uh, the, uh, the other Paranormal and this one uh, with batteries. So to insert your battery, you simply slide this open and it opens up. You have your uh, gold plated contacts here. This does slide open like this when you're closing it, it makes it easier. The only thing I wish, I wish this was more like... Um, noticeable it's like the positive and negative are kind of indented or engraved into the actual contact so for some people it might be hard to see so that's something maybe if they want to like mark it on the actual uh, door or other than the contact uh, to make it easier 
for people to see. I don't know, something else. But on the inside, it shows it as well. Um, I've got some rewrapped Sony, not Sony, sorry, Samsung 25Rs. It's really simple. Uh, put in your batteries, pause it up there, and I'll uh, repause down here. So when you're closing it, you kind of want to pull this a little bit and um, then latch it into place, push down, and then close. And that's it for um, inserting your batteries. And once you turn it on, uh, you're greeted with the screen. Now, the, this is like the base uh, theme that the DNA 250Cs come with. Uh, this is something I would have liked to see is maybe like a customized one. Um, does it just make it different? Because uh, you can, of course, like use the Evolve software to, to update it and upgrade it, uh, the firmware, and customize it however you want. But um, just something worth to mention uh, is five clicks to unlock it and unlock it. And uh, I'm going to get to the replay mode really quickly just to show you what that looks like. This you have watts boost as well. So replay mode, um, that's like the kind of the star of the show when it comes to the DNA 250C and uh, when you upgrade the 75C. So what it does is basically an easier, I guess they put it in a simple way, it's like an easier temp control. So you take a vape, you take a couple of vapes and uh, to different wattages or whatever, and then you whatever vape you really enjoy that you want that same vape, you save it, um, and it just replays that same vape over and over again um, until basically the cotton goes dry, which is you know an awesome feature. That's like probably one of the best things um, aside from you know being able to customize it that Evolve really launched with this board, this new board. But um, yeah, personally. Uh, I just been leaving it in watts, which is regular wattage mode. Uh, I won't, like I said, I won't really go too much in detail to the actual board itself. There's a lot of YouTube videos uh, out there that um, goes over the DNA 250C, the 75C, um, and the Evolve software. So I definitely recommend checking out some videos if you're not sure uh, about the, the DNA device, I mean DNA board and you know how to operate it, but it's fairly straightforward I mean especially once you get the hang of it, of course it's kind of like in-depth but it's not really for a beginner Because um, the amount of customization and, and whatnot that goes into it, you know, really need to kind of like understand But uh, it's you know, like I said, once you get used to it, you're good Now one thing I do want to mention is that this thing's still 510 here. It is raised a little bit I'm not 100% sure if you can see that but it is slightly raised up on, um, from the uh, the top of the device, so it, it, some atomizers kind of look like it has a gap, but it's it's not really a gap. This is because of this is being raised, so you don't like scratch up uh, your top here, which you know is a good or bad thing depending on you, what you like. I personally don't mind; it doesn't really bug, bug me to be honest. But just as some of the mentioned, um, you know, you'll notice it probably with your bigger atomizers. But it'll fit like a 25, 26 millimeter uh, atomizer with no problems. And it's really ergonomically shaped. It feels great in hand. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you a really quick up and close of the uh, Lost Vape Paranormal DA250C Project Subome Edition. It does have the Project uh, Subome logo here. I'm not 100% sure you can see it's kind of like etched in. You can feel where it's etched in, but um, that's a nice little touch. I mean, overall, it's a beautiful device. It's probably one of the best looking devices that uh, Lost Vape has released, um, the Project Solo Edition here. So it's just like, like I said, it's just really nice looking, feels great in the hand. And best of all, for me, I love the DNA board, so being powered by a DNA 250C is awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna go back up top and give you my final thoughts. Now we're back up top, I have the Freemax uh, Mesh Pro Tank on top. This is a rather large tank, and you can see it's hard to tell with this specific atomizer of like how it looks with that slightly raised 510. Um, this atomizer, the way it's designed, is kind of has like a the the actual airflow control is a little bit wider than the base of the tank, so it's kind of strange. But uh, even though this is like a really pretty big tank and it looks just fine um, on it, I have some of this stuff in here, some Bams cannoli. This is the original. It's like a uh, it's like a cereal with like a hint of pastry, um, a little bit of creaminess to it. It's a pretty good cereal. Um, anyway, I have it set at 70 watts and uh, take a vape.
Now you see the power delivery is there. Actually, this this coil can handle some more watts. Uh, I have it at 75 watts now. This is a 0 0.2 ohm, uh, that, that double mesh coil. You can see like the power delivery is instant. Um, there's like kind of like no kind of delay at all. Like, as soon as you hit that fire button, you're vaping. Um, though, you know, with the, the, the newer DNA devices, you kind of have to select the wattage um, and then adjust it how you want it. And um, for me, a lot of my devices that I use, whether it's like squonkers or regular devices, majority of them are DNA powered. I'm just like a big fan of it. I mean, I like Yee -Yee devices too, don't get me wrong. But if I was to choose between the two, I really enjoy DNA devices. They just, I don't know, I just like them better. <laughs> this is really hard to explain. It's kind of like, and that's not to say the Yee, -Yee boards uh, are bad. They're excellent. And they're an excellent competitor. But um, there's just something about the DNA and, and the ability to really customize it to how you want it. Um, the screen, I love the screen. And to me, it's like, I, I don't, I'm not like a big fan of newer Yee, Yee devices with the joystick. Um, with that, it's just kind of like, I don't know, man, I just don't like it. I'm not saying it's like difficult, but there's a learning curve to both uh, like Yee, Yee and DNA devices. But to this specifically, the DNA 250C, I love it. Uh, the replay mode works really well. Like I said, I'm mostly like a wattage only vapor. I hardly ever uh, vape with temperature control unless I have to test a um, like a, a device or whatever. But when it comes to temperature control, you know, there, there's probably nothing better than a DNA, in my opinion. Um, like Yee -Hee, like I said, Yee -Hee still their devices are very good. Uh, and they provide excellent temperature control, too. And a lot of the cheaper devices, too, they, they offer pretty good temperature control. But to me, like, DNA is kind of like the king um, of temperature control, uh, in my opinion, uh, from what in my experience as well. I just uh, To me, I just like it better. I feel like it performs better. Um, and the ability to customize the, the device using the Evol Evolve software is just awesome. But with the Power Normal itself, I think this is like definitely a step forward um, when it comes to the Therion. I know there's a lot of people who like the Therion, but for me, I, I just like, man, that thing with rip batteries like crazy, like like the, the battery wraps. I just... I just, it's just always did for me. And it's just, I know like some people, you know, like you would break it in, and it was more like less likely to rip your batteries but with this how it's designed with the battery door it's like i mean well, you don't have to worry at all and to me this it's a little bit chunkier than the therion slightly but to me this is a better looking device i like it better and i actually have the dna 250 version of this so i you know i'm kind of used to the body itself this dna 250c version with the newest board from evolve it's just that much better. This project supplement edition with the blue and the gunmetal, it just looks like it's gorgeous, man. It's nice. The Paranormal is already one of my favorite uh, dual battery uh, non squawk devices. And this one is is right up there. Um, definitely one of my favorite dual, dual battery box mods. It's just, it feels great. It has that really premium feel to it. And, you know, and, and it is uh, a little bit more expensive, of course, than. Uh, a lot of other devices on the market, but to me, like Lost Vape has a bit more of better quality. Um, the devices, especially this Paranormal, just feels good. You know, I'm kind of repeating myself over and over again, but honestly, it's kind of like a gush fest with this one. It's just a really, really nice looking device. It feels great in the hand, performs well as a DNA device, and it's just great, you know? I'm ready to take one more vape. I mean, you could just hear, as soon as I hit the fire button, like, so you know, the like, just immediate. But, um, yeah, for those people who are looking for, like, a, a new DNA box mod, um, definitely check out the um, the Paranormal. Whether it's the Project sub -Moment Edition or just the regular standard one, I think this one might be a little bit more expensive. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, if not, they're probably around the same price. The only one thing I do wish... Um, that Lost Fate will do is either bring out a new drone, uh, Squonker, DNA 250C, or turn this into a, like a single battery Squonker, like a single 21700, or a, or even a single 18650, uh, and you know kind of make a Squonk device to replace Ethereum BF that had the DNA 75C. Um, 
I'm not, I, obviously it wouldn't be a dual battery. That would probably be a drone, like I said. But I definitely, I hope Lost Vape kind of is working on something like that um, with this. Because squawking is really popular right now. And, excuse me, if they come out with like a squawk version of this Paranormal Man, it will be awesome. But let me take one more vape, and I'll let you guys know about the giveaway. Alright, so on to the giveaway. If you entered uh, previous giveaways that we hosted before, you'll exactly know how this one works. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll like to thank Fire Vapor for um, making this giveaway possible. They'll actually be giving away three of these. Three of the uh, Project Summo Edition versions of the um, Lost Fate Paranormal DNA 250C. So it'll be a total of three winners. Each winner will win one of these. Um, like I say, if you entered before uh, any of our other giveaways that we've done, we'll leave a link in the description that'll take you straight to the giveaway, or you can simply go to the Vapor Sheep website, hit the giveaways tab, and you'll see the giveaway right there. There are a ton of different uh, entry methods available. Uh, you can enter with whatever you want. Some are worth more, some are worth less, some are daily. So if you want to come back and increase your chance of winner, winning, please come back and do so. But when it comes to the Las Vegas Paranormal DNA 250C, you know, I definitely feel like this is going to be one of the best or better box mods of this year. For sure, the DNA 250C version. Um, whether it's the Project Summon Edition or just the regular DNA 250C, I still think the DNA 2, 250 version, I don't, I'm not sure if they make that one, but it's still a great device. Uh, maybe you can find that one cheaper if you don't really care for the color screen and the replay mode and whatnot. But um, the replay mode is an awesome, awesome like addition to, to the device, um, to the board, really. And for the philosophy to keep implementing it, it would be great. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this quick review of the Lost Fate Paranormal DNA 250C Project Sub Home Edition. Good luck to all those who are entering, and thanks for watching our video. With all that being said, keep it cloudy. Get in